Hey makers, this is Yana with Mockies. Today I'm going to show you the latest update for Cricut Design Space version 7.6. In this version, they have updated the print then cut features. Now you can move and slide your images around. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe for more helpful tutorials. Let's get started. So here we are in Cricut Design Space. I have the version 7.6 already updated and I have uploaded few of these little creatures, the little images, they're all individual images. I have uploaded them already. So let's go ahead and click make it to show you the print and cut feature. Over here in the upper right hand corner, click make it. So as you can see now, all of these are on the same sheet and they have a bonding box. Each one has a bonding box. With this new latest feature, you can actually move them around and even save some space and save some materials. So for example, as you can see right here, I have an eight and a half by 11 sheet. This is the standard for print and cut. And as you can see this outline, which is the the sensor, so the scanner reads it. I can move my images around. So if I move any of these images around, this bounding box will adjust. So let me show you. So I'm going to take this zebra and I'm going to go ahead and move it here. As you can see, the scanner box has moved up and now the material space is shorter. But now you have to be very careful that your images do not overlap when you're printing. As you can see, in this image, the zebra and the line are overlapping, so you have to watch out and make sure you're making enough room for your images for the cuts to go around them. Now, if you want to make even more space, you can go ahead and rotate your images. You will, sa you will save even more of your materials if that's what you want to do. You can also move these to an another mat if you wish. So, for example, if I wanted to move this line away, I would click on it and I will Go to these three little dots, select it, and I can do move object. In this case, I don't have any other current math, so I can do, do new. And now the line is on its own on its separate mat. So in here, if I go back to my original one, I can further move things around and play with them and make it the way exactly as I wish. So this black border is getting shorter and shorter because it doesn't need the whole page for it to cut uh, these images out. So it's a fun little addition, but it's very helpful if you're looking at how to best use your materials and save space and save on um, material cost in this case. So go ahead and try it out. If you like this tutorial, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I'll create more tutorials like this. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.